Hello, it's Eric White with OpenXMLDeveloper.org. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the split OpenXML document commandlet. First thing, as usual, is that we'll use get help to get the parameters that we're going to pass to split OpenXML document. When we use the split OpenXML document commandlet, we pass a document name and we pass this prefix. When we pass this prefix, the command that is going to use that prefix as the start of all the file names of each of the documents that it's going to generate after shredding the document. First thing to do is to create a document that we can shred. I'll insert 20 paragraphs with three sentences in each paragraph. And I'll come up here and put something in. Heading 1. Down here I'll go to Page Layout. Insert a new section. I'll make this Heading 1, but this is really immaterial. The commandlet splits on section breaks. I'll insert one more section break here. This section is starting on the same page. If we come over to the Home tab and turn on paragraph marks, then we can see that there is a section break here. Save the document. Close it. Now let's run the commandlet. I'll use split for the prefix. And I'll specify the current directory for the output folder. And the command that runs, and we'll do a directory, and we see three documents, split one, split two, and split three. Let's open one. Split one has the content in the first section. Split 2 has the contents of the second section. And Split 3 has the contents of the third section. Now that we have shredded that test document into three separate documents, let's merge them all together using the Merge OpenXML document commandlet. Here's a little bit of PowerShell code. I'm using one of the more advanced approaches of using the merge OpenXML document commandlet, which is that I am setting up three sources using this document source object. I'm doing this because I want to set the keep section property equal to true for all of those. This last line then runs merge OpenXML document and produces the merged document into merge.docx. If we do a directory, we can see the merge.docx. Let's take a look at it. There's the first section. There's the second section that starts on the next page. And there is the third section break, which is a continuous section break. Let's take a quick look at the code. We'll look in the split OpenXML document commandlet. When we look in the split OpenXML document commandlet, we see that it calls a method split on sections that is in Document Builder. Splitting on sections is a problem that is very much related to the set of problems that Document Builder solves. So for convenience, we put the split on sections method in Document Builder. And here is the method split on sections. We can almost see the entire method in a single page. It's a little bit more than that. This method uses some of the little bit more esoteric functional programming techniques such as the rollup extension method and the group adjacent extension method. 
it's interesting to note that split on sections actually is just example code of how to use document builder in a fairly sophisticated way it doesn't use anything other than the public interface to document builder after doing a fair amount of processing so that it can assemble the source for each one of the sections it simply iterates through this temp source list and calls document builder dot build document for each one of the sections that's all there is to this particular commandlet see you in the next commandlet